One of the cool things about design and testing and lead generation, lead conversion, all of these sort of components that are coming together, the data that you can find and the insights and analytics is more impressive than ever. So this is an example of how design changes, very small ones, can make a massive impact. If you look at the baby on the screen, there's a heat map right on its face. That is an eye map. That is where were people's eyes drawn when they got to this page. Now, where what the brand wants is the brand wants you to read their clever slogan. They want you to read the write-up. They want you to look at the product. They want you to see their logo. And you can see that with this example, when the face is facing out, especially a baby, everybody's eyes were drawn to that. So that's where all of the attention went. Now watch what happens when you make a small change. We're going to make the baby look at the headline and look what happens to the eye map. It changes with it. So now the logo and the diapers and the headline and the supporting copy have all become much more prominent just by simply changing where the baby is looking. So these are the types of tests and data and insights that you can get from your website. You can get a heat map, kind of like the one that you just saw. I recommend Hotjar. If you go to Hotjar and they have a free option, which is great, you can see this heat map will show you where do people's mouse go when they're looking around, where are they scrolling on mobile? What are they clicking? What are they ignoring? Which percentage of the clicks are going where? So it's a really cool tool. People love Hotjar, it gets world-class reviews. You can see, hey, what's getting ignored and what's getting viewed? And I love this one because it's just so simple to see like, okay, red, green, above the fold, where should everything be? Uh, and then you can compare like, how are we doing on desktop versus mobile? Hotjar is so cool. And I think it's sort of like analytics for everybody. It allows you to kind of very quickly see, and I'm going to show you guys how to do tests and kind of more sophisticated stuff, but having something like Hotjar there before you drive traffic, before you pay for ads is really critical because it'll tell you what to change to make your marketing better. So I highly recommend hotjar.com. And what you'll learn, this is uh, data that is in the book, but 57% of page viewing time is above the fold. So if you look at the research across all these different websites, more than half of the time people spend on your website is gonna be without scrolling. Above the fold is when it's just what's there when they land. They don't scroll, they don't swipe. What's above the fold? 74% of the viewing time is in the first two screenfuls. So whether it's the first screenful or the first two, that's where the majority of the people are gonna see. Does it mean that you shouldn't still put things below that? Of course, some of the best leads are gonna scroll the furthest. It doesn't mean that you should only have two screenfuls, but it means that your primary value proposition, your primary call to action, your primary images and videos and graphics need to be as high up on the page as possible.